Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to showcase uh, one of the uh, important uh, notes of uh, wireless communication uh, taught by Professor Dr. Aditya K. Jagannathan sir from IIT Kanpur. Mm, so, in this notes, uh, the following topics will be covered: uh, introduction to OFDM, assignment, discussions, uh, block diagram of OFDM, interblock interference, by OFDM, and things like that. Uh, these are the uh, main topics. So, without wasting much time, I will directly get into the notes where i can showcase the concepts yeah so starting with uh, the introduction of OFDM um, so i will uh, go through one by one So these things uh, are thought separately in the sense that the sir was explaining more about this OFDM. Um, at that time, I have captured the things in the pencil. So that's why this uh, scanning has been very done, uh, but uh, there is no missing, there is no important missing information over here. But uh, if we know all these pencil things, um, then uh, I mean, the understanding would be much better. The main concepts are covered in the pen uh, and it is captured nicely. So with respect to spectral efficiency, whether OFDM improves or not uh, has been explained over here. This is by taking uh, uh, the legacy local oscillator method. Um, but uh, that would be very costly. So OFDM uh, e equations would be now converted to IDFT equations so that uh, we can replace the local oscillator and we can implement it using uh, IDFT equations. So that's what is uh, described over here in this case. Yeah, from here onwards, assignment number five has been discussed. Yeah, this is another problem. Related to MMSC, the problem related to MMSC. Some problem related to frequency selective channel. I will try to see if I can bring in the questions of these assignments as well. Uh, I will try to see whether I can upload them. Okay, so after the assignment, one more time the OFDM concept has been uh, discussed uh, in the next class. Uh, so I have captured here. So now coming to the block diagram of uh, OFDM with IDFT and DFT, how does the signal processing flow look like? Yeah, the concept of uh, interblock interference is coming into picture now. So to eliminate that, uh, how we can introduce the cyclic prefix addition so that that has been taught over here and what is the cyclic prefix length that is required finally with the cyclic prefix uh, uh, included uh, it is demonstrated that the frequency fading channel is converted to flat fading channel across each subcarrier okay so that is over here Yeah. So frequency selective channel is converted to n parallel flat fading channel. Okay. So now with this, I think uh, the behavior of OFDM system can be derived. Yeah, behavior of OFDM system is over here.
so now we are uh, entering into the matrix approach to OFDM so to simplify the things uh, so that to simplify the operations or to simplify the calculations um, the matrix approach uh, has been taught uh, so that is uh, explained from this point onwards Okay, so the OFTM uh, uh, in the OFTM matrix equation, the channel uh, matrix uh, with the IDFT and DFT is converted into circulant matrix HC. So actually, this is with the properties of the circulant matrix. It is possible to convert to the n parallel flat radius channel. Okay, so now coming to my more FDM concepts. So it is started with CSO OFDM, then uh, SIMO, and it goes on. Applying all the zero forcing receiver or MMSC receiver or maximum likelihood receiver to this OFDM, uh, OFDM equations and trying to see what is the diversity order, what is the bit error rate and things like that. So even the beamforming is also tried. So multiple inputs, single output OFDM also, also uh, it has also been taught. And then finally, allowed plus OFDM. Okay. So multi-user OFDM. So these are some important questions that. Uh, should be addressed uh, to understand uh, the concepts better in case of multi-user OFDM. Especially the uplink scenario needs to be addressed very well because the uh, uplink synchronization is required in case of uh, uh, OFDM. Yeah, it, it has been thought one more time on uh, the uplink OFDM. Especially this block diagram, this diagram explains uh, a lot about how the uplink synchronizations will happen, even though the even though the uplink signal has been shifted by few samples, how it is possible to still get uh, the required signal uh, that has been um, thought to till this point because we have this cyclic prefix so any shift within this cyclic prefix because of multipath interference uh, so still we will be able to recover uh, yeah some more explanations related to how 
even though the block has been delayed how performing dft is not going to hamper the information okay that's all uh, actually so with this uh, all the concepts were covered and uh, um, till this point the syllabus is chosen for the end semester uh, so please do share uh, this uh, to those people who are uh, uh, who need uh, these kind of notes uh, thank you very much have a great day bye bye